You seem like very good company. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm heartbroken again. Hey guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Morrowind. Where we left off. Caius just told us he was leaving. I am heartbroken. I know Teldrin is. He's like his only friend here. <sighs> I feel like he's supposed to give us something. Like, hold on. I could have sworn. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we had just kind of explored around last episode. Got some good loot, leveled up a couple of times, and came home to learn Caius was leaving us. We've been dumped. Okay. That makes you the ranking Blades agent here in Vardenfell District. As far as I know, there may be other Blades agents here I don't know about. It wouldn't surprise me. I may be gone a while and you'll have expenses. Here's some gold and you can use the house until I return. And I won't be needing these blacks or the ring while I'm in Cyrodiil. Maybe they'll come in handy. Take good care of them. So he gave us some gold. He literally gave us his pants. I'm glad he's still wearing pants though. He gave us his shirt he could have been wearing this whole time. I'm kind of peeved about that. And his ring. Thank you, Caius. I will miss you. I'll miss you watching me while I sleep. Before we get into anything, I need to go to the temple or find some potions or buy some potions to fix these. I need to sell a bunch of stuff and then we will be on our way to Vivek to speak with Mayra Milo. Because I'm pretty sure there was something with her feeling watched or whatever. All of his clothes blend in. But okay, we will wear his shirt and you know what? We'll wear his pants too. Thank you, Caius. The ring's pretty good too. We'll keep it for friendship's sake. I will miss you, my friend. I will miss you. I'm gonna sleep because I'm sad and I want to see if we're gonna have another nightmare. I feel like we might have already had all of them, but I'm gonna sleep anyways. Teldrin does like his sleep. <gasps> yes, there's another nightmare. I knew it. I knew there'd be one. This is spooky. Be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. I need somebody. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Caius, you're allowing this? That. That literally scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. Okay. We're okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Um, excuse you. Caius, help me. Come on, man. <sighs> ah! I was not expecting that. What's our journal say? Sixth house cultists attacked me as I slept in my bed. Ugh, I need to freaking rest again until he old. I bet I'm gonna get mugged again. Okay. Bye, Caius. I will miss you. I'm dragging this on for too long. I gotta get some stuff done. That guy didn't even let us sleep. It's 10 p.m. Oh, we gotta go back to sleep. Oh man, come on guy. Just just let me sleep. I'm sad, all right? Just let me sleep. Okay. This hurts more than it should. He left his drugs. Now Teldrin's gonna look like a druggie. I, I need to leave. I can't be here anymore. I need out. Gotta sell some stuff. I'll skip past it because that's not very exciting. Okay, I still have some stuff left I need to sell, but none of the merchants ever have enough gold to buy all of it, so I'm gonna set it in Caius's house because it's all expensive. Or expensive and heavy. Mint heavy, but yes, expensive too. And then we're gonna take a silt strider to Vivek because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, this is a rather long quest. And I don't like my episodes to be too freakishly long. I will just set everything on this table. Yeah, and now we at least have some room for more stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and head to Vivek now. Hello, good friend. It feels like forever since I've taken a Silt Strider. I don't know if that's true, but it, it feels like it's been a while. Also, can we appreciate that background? Like how far I can see in those god rays? Like, ooh, yes. That's so nice. Let's go to Vivek. We made like 3,000 gold or so, like three and a half thousand off everything I sold, in case you were wondering. But yeah, now let's explore Vivek. How fun. I'm actually going to try to take a boat. Let's see where this guy will take us. You and your cool hat. 
Tickus, I'm assuming, since Talvani is the most expensive, it's the furthest away, so hopefully the closest to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice. Hello, where will you take us? Uh, the temple. That's where we want to go. Alright, that wasn't so bad since we didn't have to walk the whole way, and we have so much money now. We don't really have to worry about that too much. We can travel around as much as we like. I'm hoping I can find her office again. I know I found it the first time I was wandering around here. But, like I said, this place always confuses me. I did, like, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know I have a new PC. I tried to install the overhaul to where it'd be brighter. Is it in the library? I think it might be. I don't know yet, because I haven't been in a cave. I'm hoping it's brighter, though. We'll just have to see how that pans out. I don't know where we're going. I'm just gonna wander around until I find it. I know the first time we met she was in the library, but I'm pretty sure she's not anymore. Canon quarters? <gasps> Milo's quarters. This is it. We need to get out a lockpick because it is locked. We, we keep failing. It's only level 20. It's about time. All right. So, Caius told us that Mayra Milo was being watched and if something had gone wrong, she would leave a message under the code word Amaya. And I do remember this part of the game. Sorry if that takes some of the excitement away, but she has left a note to Amaya. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but we had talked to Mayra Milo earlier when we were first learning about the Nerevarine prophecies and whatnot, when we came to the temple and we're talking about all that fun stuff. I think she led us to get the progress of truth, that book, all that fun stuff. It's been a while. Sorry I missed you. I had to run some old documents over to the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth, and I'm likely to be tied up there for a while. Why don't you meet me there as soon as you can? Then we can leave together as soon as I'm done. And Amaya, don't forget to bring me the two divine intervention sc scrolls you borrowed. Or if you use them, buy a couple of new ones for me. I think I'm going to need them soon. Janand Molini at the Mages Guild in the Foreign Quarter keeps them in stock. Alvela Saram is the guard at the entrance. Just tell her you're looking for me and she'll let you in. Your faithful friend, Mayra. P.S. I left a couple of levitate potions here for you, just in case. I couldn't remember if you knew the spell or not, so I drew a couple from stock. Luckily she did, because Teldrin is no mage. Let's take those. I wonder... Oh, what's this? That updated our journal? I read the Pilgrim's Path and... Mark the location of each shrine I'm on that. Wow, thank you. All the Daedric shrines? I don't know, because he didn't actually even mark anything, did you, Teldrin? Good job. We'll worry about that later, though. I'm just... I'm just looting her stuff. Don't... Don't mind me. This is out of character, but, you know... Not out of character for me in an Elder Scrolls game, I guess. Okay. So basically, something has gone wrong. And she is stuck in the Ministry of Truth, which is that big floaty rock above Vivek that eventually crashes down after the events of Morrowind and destroys everything. I just went into the Hall of Justice. That's not... This isn't where I wanted to be, but I can get out of here all the same. But yeah, the Ministry of Truth is a prison. It's right there. It's a big meteor. I'm pretty sure that Sheagorath sent down and Vivek stopped it. It's just kind of hovering there, and Vivek was like, "Yeah, it's gonna fall if y'all stop, stop, <laughs> if y'all stop loving me, and worshiping me." So, keep doing that, please. Oh, and there's the city of Ebonheart. I love Ebonheart. But yeah, we need to fly up there in a bit. But we do need to get the scrolls first, so we need to travel back to the foreign quarter. All right. So I'm so glad that those boats exist. Let me just say. Okay, so Janand Malini, the Mage's Guild. Janand, I can remember that. Maybe. I don't have the best memory. Let's go try to find the Mage's Guild. I'm not the best at finding things around here. So, this should be interesting. Maybe I can ask this guy? Hey. Scum. Alright, um... Uh, he's gonna be kinda sassy about it. Perfect. Yep. Yep. Alright, let's ask somebody else. Hey you, do you like me? Nope. Nope, he doesn't like me. Okay. Ugh, I don't remember where it is. I wonder if it's in the upper bit? It might be. Oh, I didn't really want to go in here. <laughs> I'll try to get up to the upper half of the city. I feel like it might be up there, but I don't know. Ah, here it is. Hopefully this is the right place. Okay, here's the Mage's Guild. Good. This quest would not take long at all if I didn't have to go everywhere <laughs> around this silly city. But here's Janand. 
Um, let's barter. We need a divine intervention. There we go. There's two, that's perfect. Not too expensive. We will take those and be on our way. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful, especially with that niche down there. I'm, I just, I just gotta take a screenshot. What a surprise would be taking screenshots in Morrowind. In any Elder Scrolls game, honestly. I really want to jump down so bad. I know I shouldn't, but I want to. Okay, finally we're at the temple. The Ministry of Truth is up there. We are just gonna go ahead and take one of them levitate potions and fly on up. I did have one left, but I would need one to get down. Of course, I always have cheats if need be, but I'd rather not. I just hope we can get here in time without falling and dying, because that wouldn't be fun. Okay, I think the guard is over here. Look at the temple down there, that's so pretty. I definitely think it's easier to see now. I don't know. Hopefully it is for you guys. Okay, so here's Alvella. I'm sorry, no pilgrims allowed in the ministry. I'll have to ask you to leave, but you're not here to visit anyone, are you? I am, actually. Mayra said you would come. I'll say you subdued me with magic and stole my key, but I, I don't use magic. It opens all three exterior doors. The upper back door is best. You'll need other keys for other doors inside. Search for the keys and desks. No one carries keys while on duty. Mayra's in the prison keep in the cell on the far right. Mayra said you'd bring scrolls to get out. Some of us are sympathetic to the dissident priest, but kill an ordinator and you'll lose that sympathy. Here's the key to the entrance now. Keep going. Nah. All right, so upper back door, I guess that's the one over here. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I hate this quest. I'm stuck. I hope this is the right door. Okay, I'm just gonna save and go ahead and sneak and hope for the best. Am I sneaking? I am sneaking. Look at me. So sneaky. Though I'm not. Maybe. Just maybe. I should take off my armor because it probably makes sounds and you know it's also bright and silver. Might regret doing this. I don't know. But our clothes are black so you know it's fitting. We do have Fortify Sneak and Chameleon on the things Caius gave us which was like perfect timing. That fortifies luck and security too. So you know, we are gonna use all of these and hope for the best. I'm so scared. Okay, so first off, um, use this. It only lasts for 20 and 30 seconds, which isn't all that great, but better than nothing. Am I, am I doing this wrong? Cause it, I'm just raising up my hands. Is it a constant effect? Try the ring. Okay, am I doing something stupid? It's it's usually R, is it not? Does the ring work? It hasn't been that long since I've played. What's going on? Why is this happening? I'm so confused. This has never given me a problem before. What's going on? Of course, when I need it the most. It changed it. This is different now. Because usually all I would have to do is press R. I think it was just how my old overhaul mod was set up. This one must have been a little different. Okay, so we used the pants. Now time for the shirt. Glad I figured that out. Let's sneak. Oh, Teldrin's not a sneaky man. Okay, looks like we're good to go down here. I am honestly terrified. Do I need to go in here? Oh gosh, I don't know. What's down here? Prison keep. It's behind me. Wait, or is it under me? I guess it's under me. Please don't see me, guards. <gasps> well, great. Well, great. Just run! Run! Run away! This is how we're doing this! I'm gonna die, so what's it matter? Just run! Try it anyways. It's so, so dark. I cannot see. I'm bumping into all the walls. The door says it's right here. It's not. I'm scared and confused. I'm being attacked. There's another guard there. I'm getting out a torch. At least I'm scoping out the area. That's what I'm doing. Put on your armor so you don't die right away. I'm just gonna scope out the area. It'll be fine if we die. Like I was kind of expecting it anyway, but I won't kill anybody. Why am I- 
Oh, gosh, I'm not used to that. That's so weird for me. Oh, oh gosh, where am I? I'm leveling up. That. <gasps> hey, he doesn't care. Thanks, guy. Thanks for not caring. Where am I? Where? Where am I? I think I'm back where I was. Do I need to go through here? I guess I do. I probably didn't need to go down there at all. Whatever. Just, just open that up. <laughs> do you not care? That's good. That's good that you don't care. Oh, okay. That's just a cavern door. What up? Can I just like talk to you? Oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> huh. It's okay, just just exploring. Just exploring. Don't want to go through there either. That goes to the temple. Ah! Oh gosh! No! Don't do this! Okay, that wasn't the right way at all. I didn't mean to go through there. Can can I'm flying. I'm I'm dying. I died. I died. Yeah, just just load it. I don't know where I'm going. It's fine, I guess. Did I come in through the wrong door? Maybe. I still- Oh, I'm still in TCL. Okay. I'm just gonna keep it that way for a minute, because I want to find that other door. Sorry for being cheaty, but... Down here. Was I supposed to go down here instead? That might have been the problem. Why can I not run? That's annoying. No, that's the whole processing too. I don't think I'm supposed to be down here either. But we'll try it. We'll sneak through here too. Immediately there's a guard. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah. I don't know where I am. I know I'm gonna get caught. Yeah, they're already coming back at me. Hey! Okay, they don't care. They don't care. Some of them are just fine with it. It's really dark in here. I thought I fixed this problem. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, it says the prison is right there, but like, it's... It's not, okay? I, I'm obviously not being sneaky now. Can I go lower? Thanks for not caring, guy. You're, you're a good friend. I'm just gonna run now. Because I'm just scoping out the scene. Oh, she she cares. She cares. Okay, we know that's not the right way. Did I literally just have to turn right? I bet it's up here, isn't it? I, I bet it's up here. I bet you're the prison keeper, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know where to go. We're good. Reload. Ignore the Frenchiest Fry name. Don't don't worry about it. I'm not surprised. This game is really hecking dark. Why am I here? Don't do this. Oh, I loaded the autosave. Okay. That scared me. I'm also not used to my autosave being able to actually work and save because I didn't have that on my other computer because it glitched out and I had to like set it to where it wouldn't auto save. So that's a nice little thing I have now. I appreciate that. Am I still sneaking? No, now I am. All right, sneak mode is engaged. I'm not sneaky, but at least we know. We know where to go now. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I know how to cast spells again. It, it changed to be fair. It did change. Okay, now just go up here. I made it more difficult than it needed to be. What a surprise, I know. That's like my specialty, I think. I'm pretty sure this is why it always takes me so long, just because I get so confused every time trying to <laughs> just see this one hallway. Who heard me? Excuse me. Maybe if I go through the door. Oh, 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 walk away. Oh, it's locked and I died. Wearing armor is the worst. Wearing armor. Not wearing armor. It's the worst. How did she- My spells wore off. Was that it? Come on. This is why it takes me forever. Because I never play as a sneaky character. At least not Morrowind. Maybe I should try it. Okay. One more time. I don't know why she thought it was okay. To just barge up there like that. I wonder if I can run and she won't notice. Yeah, I don't think she she hears me. Hopefully there's not another guard up here though and I just wasn't seeing them. Okay, real quick, quick save. I hope I didn't just mess that up by quick saving over that other one. Huh, <laughs> might have. Okay, real quick, open, nope, nope, open. Oh, go through. Oh, 
This is stressful. Oh. Great. Great. Alright. Uh, okay. The guards didn't actually appear. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna run! 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 Teldrin. Teldrin. Put your armor back on, boy. Put that armor back on. We need it. We might have to kill people. I know you don't like killing innocents. It's not your thing. But you know... You, you know, we just need to run. We just need to heal. No, no, not like this. Ah! No! I was stuck on a rope. Uh, I'm glad I quick save now. This is stressful. Stressful. I, I hate this quest. I hate it with a passion. Like, you don't even know. I don't know how I'm supposed to sneak past them. I'm going to cast this again. Oops. And hurry up and get this. And I'll open it up. Before this lady notices me. Stressed. I wasn't, I wasn't sneaking. You know, that would also help if I, or maybe I was. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Not again, not again. Okay. Put all this on and immediately take a scroll. I might have to kill people. I don't wanna. I don't wanna kill people. But you know, I might have to. I might just have to deal with that bounty and that guilt. Teldrin is not a sneaky man. Like he he has a big sword and that, that's all you need in life, okay? You don't need none of the sneaking around. You need a big sword. Oh, oh great. Did I even use it? I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. Now I did. Jump! Jump! Oh, I'm stuck! Uh, okay, that's not fair. Um, I, I literally am stuck. So, there's a million guards in here. How are you supposed to sneak past this? Is beyond me. Hey, what up? Uh, gosh. Holding cells. Holding cells. Please let me in. Please let me in. Um, I was already holding that. No, don't fail! <laughs> Go through! They don't know how to use doors, I think. <gasps> Who are you? You're not a Maya, are you? You're not a Maya. You're not a Maya. Thanks, guy. Thanks. Thanks for the support. I'm gonna do a different save. So I still have the freaking quick save. Ugh. I can't even. It wasn't even in caps lock. I tried to make it in caps lock. It wasn't. I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna calm the heck down. And I'm gonna heal. Can I sleep in here, guy? Do you care? He doesn't care. He's cool. We're cool. Now watch me get mugged by an assassin. No, I'm fine. Maybe I can sneak now? They forgot where I was, I guess. I'm wearing armor, you know, I'm not even gonna try to sneak because they're stupid. Like, I can just run through. I think she's in this one. They didn't notice me. They, they didn't notice me, what the heck? Yeah. What do you mean, is there something I need? I just, I, I dealt with all that to save you. Please don't, please don't be like, is there something you need? You know what I need. Yes, I have the scrolls. <sighs> I'll need one divine intervention scroll myself for my escape plan. Getting out will be a lot faster and safer for you if you have one. Yes, I do. But if you haven't got one for yourself, maybe you can find some other way out. Now listen, here's my plan. Give me the scroll. I'll meet you at the secret dissident priest monastery at Holomayan. For safety, we'll... Oh gosh, I'm burping. We'll travel separately. When you get out of here, look for a woman named Blata Hateria on the east docks of Ebonheart. I get to go to Ebonheart. Tell her I sent you and that you want to go fishing. She'll bring you to Holomayan by boat. I'll meet you there and we'll get the lost prophecies from Gil Vesparello, the leader of the dissident priests. And magic conceals the Holomayan entrance. Speak to Vivrana Arian, a monk at the dock of at Holomayan about the hidden entrance. Okay. Okay, we will. We will. I'm getting out of here, Mayra. Sorry. But this is dangerous. Not into it. I'm out. Ah, magical. Such a stressful quest. And we're in the beautiful city of Ebonheart. Which this makes me emotional, because in this point of Teldrin's story, this is actually when he meets his future wife. Wow, romance. How cute. I'm actually really stuck. I want to get to the cool dragon statue, please. That's where I want my outro. Oh, great. Another one of these freaking forts that I love so much. I can always find my way around these. 
<sighs> so stressed this episode, like, oh, I need to calm down. I found the way, it's fine. Okay, here's a nice dragon statue. Time to do outro. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching me suffer. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And wow, I love your hat, can I just add? I just recorded that Beyond Ruma episode and that hat has some importance. You'll see once I upload it. I don't think it will be uploaded by the time this one is, but look forward to that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.